Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brad Despite Fitness, and I'm sorry for any wiggle on the uh, on the camera here. I just have it set while I'm uh, on my way to go train. So I wanted to kind of give a quick update on a few things. So uh, recently for the Army, I've had to do some, um, some medical stuff, right? And the, uh, you know, some medical checks and things like that. Um, and so the bout of rhabdo that I had a year ago kind of came up as an issue. Um, so for what I'm going through, I'd have to have two years kind of gone by between uh, now and the incident. And unfortunately, it's only been almost a year, I think exactly. So um, it required some, some testing. So going through the, the kind of wickets of that testing and my metabolic blood panel came up that I'm still exhibiting signs consistent with rhabdo. So what that means is my, uh, my myoglobin levels are elevated. Um, now there's a number of things that could contribute to that, right? So um, the fact that I train pretty heavy six days a week, um, I think is really the, the main factor behind my elevated myoglobin levels. Um, you know, because it's something that I think maybe the average person doesn't do. So if you compare, if you compare my normal to the average normal, I'm going to appear probably uh, a little odd. So I, I think that that's probably it. So what I, what I did in an effort to try to control that is I basically took around a week off. Didn't, didn't train at all for a week. In fact, uh, you know, cut out, you know, all supplements really like dialed down my, uh, my, my intake and just kind of just acted normal. Um, meaning like I just didn't do shit. Right. So, um, no creatine, no protein, you just kind of a normal diet. Um, I even dialed down, you know, my, uh, my alcohol consumption, um, dialed down, didn't quit. Um, but you know, just trying to get, you know, my blood to look more normal, I guess. Um, and then I went in on, uh, Thursday and did a new blood draw or, you know, blood screen or whatever. So I submitted a sample and hopefully, um, I haven't gotten the, the results back from that, um, that test yet, but hopefully everything's looking more normal and I can kind of continue on, um, you know, normally from here on out. So I am, I am presuming that things are normal so that I'm going to get back to more normal activity. So I did a, um, I did a bench session, um, yesterday, no Thursday. I did a bench session on yesterday and then, um, just because my knee's a little goofy still, um, I'm going to do a deadlift session today. So, um, I've done a deadlift session, um, up to about 585 and the knee felt okay. Um, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing today. Um, and I know this is kind of a lengthy intro, but I just want to give you guys some perspective or just some insight about kind of what's been going on with me. Um, so the training as of late in the last, like, I'd say two weeks has been a little inconsistent. Um, you know, my, my training partner, Mike is out on, uh, on some leave. Um, and then I've been on my own and dealing with this, uh, you know, this myoglobin or elevated, you know, um, elevated blood protein levels. Um, so I, I dialed back. So training has been inconsistent still dealing with the knee. Um, the knee is a lot better. So I'm, I'm more mobile than I was like the day after I injured it. Um, but still it's not normal. It's not right. Um, so I'm still going through the wickets of trying to manage that and handle that. And I'm, I'm gunning to try to get some more imaging and things done so I can get uh, clear confirmation or denial about what the issue really is. And if this is something that can really will self resolve with a little bit of physical therapy and whatever else, or if it's something that's going to need um, a little bit more um, invasive um, treatment. I don't know. Um, all that to say, I'm just doing the best that I can with what I got. Um, I'm just trying to, 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 to do what I can. And I, I just want to show you guys, right? Like, it's not always smooth sailing. and It's not always like what you want it to be. And you, you don't always have like optimal setting, right? Like, but it doesn't mean that you can't do something and it doesn't mean that you can't, you know, make some progress somewhere. Right. So I, you know, I guess in that vein, that's where I'm at. Right. I just want to try to 
continue things and not just give up and throw my hands up in the air and call it quits. Uh, I want to continue to do the best I can with what I've got. So that's what we're doing. Um, in a uh, effort to try to make today maybe a little bit more exciting, I am taking the opportunity to travel out to a local gym here. Um, there is a gym that is kind of a powerlifting gym and has gone through some transition recently, like new management and whatever else. Um, and so it's kind of reopened and been rebranded. And so the gym is called Natural Selection Training Facility. And it's in Clarksville. Um, and I've, I've seen it on Instagram. I've, I've heard some friends kind of talk about it. Um, and today we're gonna go check it out for myself or ourselves, I guess, because you're along the ride to see it as well. So this should be kind of new, uh, new territory for me and uh, maybe something exciting for you. Um, and then I guess mostly if you are uh, in or around the Clarksville area and you're looking for a gym, maybe this will serve as a, uh, as a like good um, example or a good, I guess, uh, demonstration of the gym. So hopefully, you know, hopefully this gym is what I hope it is and we'll do a little walk around and check it out and I'll uh, do some lifting and you can get a feel for what this gym is. And maybe if that's kind of your bag, um, it'll be a gym that you'd want to check out. So um, this would be kind of cool for all of us, I hope. So some, some deadlifting, you're gonna do some testing on the knee to see how it, how it fares. Ideally, I'm gonna be going up to about 6.15 uh, for some rep work. And I just realized I might've forgot my straps, fuck. Um, damn it, gonna have to figure that out. Um, Maybe they'll have some straps there. Yeah, fuck, fuck. All right, anyway, so yeah, we'll make the most of it. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll just be like, you know, go to Walmart and buy some straps. I don't know, here we go. But uh, hopefully you guys stick around and check this one out and uh, hopefully it's mildly entertaining and you get to see something new in this gym. So uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subbed, come on, let's do that already. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'll see you guys when I get there and we'll see what this place is all about. Here we go.
right guys that's it that's the video um you know got to a new place do something a little bit different um i think it's always a good thing to kind of change up the scenery a bit um and i like kind of exploring things that are around me so it's always good to check out different powerlifting gyms and um, well different gyms in general but obviously i'm a little bit more attracted to the the, the powerlifting kind of realm right um so this was a really great experience i really enjoyed training here um i was really happy what happened um deadlift day so even even though i can't quite lock out my knee and still having some knee pain from the the injury that i had um still able to get in and get the deadlifting done um got in four sets or four sets rather of uh 615 which is, i'm really really happy about that to me that's like really incredible um and then you know last set i went beltless um so great training session got a little bit of accessory stuff in um and just kind of spent some time talking with uh chris one of the owners and just kind of hanging out shooting the shit um just a really really great environment really great training session i'm really happy i came out here today so i uh, hope that you guys like this video if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and drop in the chat box below i'll be sure to respond i appreciate you guys continuing to support me in the channel with the likes shares and subs it means a lot you help the channel grow and uh with a with the channel growing i can do more and more stuff with it eventually so really looking to expand and, and try to do more um remember guys no matter what it is you think you can't do like you know get out and check out somewhere new you got to get in and train a spite you're either going to find an excuse you're going to find a way and i hope that you guys continue to find the way thanks for watching this one i'll see you in the next one peace